<laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Miss Lisa and we're here at the Fayette County Public Library with Fun Foods. Today we've got something so yummy and so fun. I can't wait to put it together for you. This is going to be a grasshopper parfait. And with the holidays coming up, well, what a treat it would be for your family to eat one of these for dessert. No, it has nothing to do with little grasshoppers. It has to do with chocolate and mint. So to make this dessert, you are going to need quite a few ingredients. You need some jello, okay, the chocolate pudding jello. And of course you need milk to make pudding. We need some Cool Whip, some Andy's mints, and some Oreos. Need a little mint extract and some food coloring to help it make it green. All right, so we need our pudding to set up a little bit first before we put them into our parfait glasses. Now, I have some water goblets here. You just need something glasses preferred because that way you can see the layers. But if you don't have a water goblet, you could use a little salad bowl or just something that you can put layers in to be able to serve it and so it looks really pretty. We'll see that here shortly. So the first thing we need to do is make our pudding. And so we have two boxes of chocolate pudding. And with two boxes, that means we need four cups of milk. So my measurements are on the side of my stirring bowl here. So we're going to just pour in the milk till it gets all the way up to four cups. Keep going, keep going. All right. So there are four cups of milk. And we need to put both containers of pudding in. Put one in. Make sure we don't spill any of it. Don't want to lose any of that chocolatey goodness. Let's get the other one ready. Mmm, I can smell that odor coming up here. All that yummy chocolatey deliciousness. Okay. Now, I am going to use a small whisk and just whisk up this pudding. It's pretty full, so I need to be careful here. If you had a little blender, I suppose you could do that too, but a whisk and just some muscle works just as well. So we want to have all that blended together really well. And so while we do all the other steps of this yummy dessert, the pudding will start to set up. All right, let me mix it up just a little bit more. We want to make sure it's mixed well before we set it aside. Okay, I think we've about got it. I don't see any lumps in there. I think it's looking good. Okay, let me set that aside. So while we work on the rest of our dessert, that will start to set up. Okay, so let's work on the Cool Whip next. Now open up our whipped cream here. And we're just going to put it into a bowl so that it will be easier to layer in our dessert. Now we want our Cool Whip to be green and minty. That's what means, that's what grasshopper means in this dessert. So I wanna make sure I get as much out as I can. All right. Now, we want it green. So I'm gonna have my green food coloring. Put a couple little dots in there. Stir it up. The shade of green totally depends on you. Looks like this is going to be a really pretty little light lime green. All right, make sure that before you start that your Cool Whip is at room temperature. In other words, it won't be able to blend as easily as it just did. All right, now I do need some mint. I have my peppermint extract here and you need about a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoon. My teaspoon is filled with Cool Whip. So, let's Spoon that off of there. All right, let's add our minty flavor. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Stir that around. 
Mm, and I smell that too. All right, so then we're just gonna set that aside. That's gonna be ready. Now, before we started, I took my Andy's mints. I took um, 21 of them and put them over here in my little blender. So we need to mix those up and shred them a little bit. So let's turn them into little bites. super fine because we do want to have those little chunks in our parfait. So that looks pretty good. So we're going to have our yummy Andy's mints as one of our layers. Now those Andy's mints are going to be mixed in with Oreos. I put 15 Oreos in this bag and I'm going to take my heavy duty rolling pin here and just smash up those Oreos. because we are going to want to have a cookie layer in our carpet. Shock those up really well. Mm -hmm. All right, so since those are now chopped up, and these are chopped up, let's see here. I'm gonna put them together. Mix those up together. That is our cookie layer in our parfait. So I'm going to pour them into this handy dandy little spout so that when I'm making my parfait, it will come out easily. All right. Oh my goodness. Right. It doesn't pour as easily as I hoped it would. Okay. I have a little extra for later if I need it. There's a big chunk of Oreo. Stick that back in there. All right, so now we have our three layers. Our chocolate pudding, our cookies, and our Cool Whip. So, I'm gonna take your water goblets, or any type of dessert cup that you want, and you're gonna start with the pudding. Make a layer of pudding. And then a layer of the Cool Whip. Mmm, I just smell it. it. Smells so yummy and minty. Okay. And I'm trying, <laughs> I'm not succeeding real well, of not getting it, getting it all up on the, on the side of the glass. Okay, now we're going to pour a little cookie in there. Okay. And we're going to do one more layer. Put the chocolate pudding and then the mint mm. whipped cream whipped topping here and then another layer of the cookies okay and then it has been suggested that you take this and add an Oreo and stick it at the top as decoration. So let me try one more time to see if we can make it any prettier. So again, you're gonna take your pudding, that's your bottom layer. Okay, and I've already messed it up, didn't I? I don't know how they make it look so pretty. Gonna take the whip topping or Cool Whip, a pretty green Cool Whip and put that as the next layer. And then our cookie crunch. And then the pudding. Okay. This is a rather large helping of dessert. Mm -mm -mm. Add the Cool Whip once again. And I suppose once it's in our tummy, it doesn't really matter what it looks like, but you would like it to sort of look pretty for your guests. And then more of the cookie crumbles. Okay, the recipe does say that it should make four large helpings or eight of the smaller helpings. So if you want to have a little decoration, stick your Oreo right up here. You can see those wonderful layers because that's what parfait means. It's a layered dessert. 
All right, folks, this has been a grasshopper parfait today. I hope you will try this and make it for your family because it will be totally delicious. All right, I'm Miss Lisa, and we're at the Fayette County Public Library. This has been another episode of Fun Foods. Come see me again next Wednesday, I'm sorry, Tuesday, for another fun food. See ya.